Hello everyone! In today's video I will show you how to show and hide input fields on the selection screen by using radio buttons. I have already prepared a program today in Eclipse and now I start with a selection screen with the creation of a radio button. So I write here selection screen begin of line selection screen command 15 I need 15 characters for my text I write here in text variable for field p parameter radio button 1 and I set the radio button group here default value above true and user command rb the user command is necessary to jump later in the add selection screen output. So now I need a second radio button. So I copy the code from the first one and I change some variable name, names except the radio button group. And I delete the default and user command. Then I uh, write some input fields. I need a selection block and I call one block simple with two input fields with two parameters the care id and the connection id from the table sp fly so i write here p care id of type sp fly care id and the same for the connection id then i write selection screen and off block simple then i create another block i call this block advanced and I create here two more input fields, two more parameters, two columns from the table SP fly, one city from and the second city to. And if I click on the advanced radio button, I want to show all four input fields. If I click on the simple one, on the simple radio button, I want to show only the care ID and con ID. Then I write at selection screen output. Then I do a loop at screen into data into my work area here. And then I check if the work area name contains string C from or is the work area name contains the string CTO. So city from or city to. Because this these fields I want to um, hide if I click on the radio button one and for this I write wa active then I set the condition when radio button two is pressed uh, for example up up true then zero else one so if the radio button two is pressed the uh, the, the city from and city to fields should be hidden. Then I write here modify screen from work area. And if and and loop. And now I need the text for the two text variables. And so I write here initialization lvtxt1 is advanced. This is radio button one and LVTXT2 is simple. So if I press radio button 2, the, the fields city from and city 2 should be hidden. So let's activate the code and run the program. Now we see the two radio buttons and the four input fields. So now if I press the simple radio button, okay, the two fields city from and city to should be hidden. There is a, a small error, I think. So let's go back to the code. Okay, I see it's not C form, it should be C from, city from. So let's activate again and run the program. And now we see if we click on simple, yes, only care ID and con ID is visible. Okay, so let's do this. Uh, let's have a look in the debugger. 
I set the breakpoint here on this line, on the if clause. And then on the right side, we see the, the variables. Let's double click on double w a name. And then if we press in the debugger, uh, the key F5 for one step, we see that the names are changing. We do the loop over the screen and every time and when we are when we see the the parameter names like or the values like city from or city city to the active value should change if i checked radio button 2 in my case radio button simple so now if we do the debugging again we should see, we should see that the the active value should be changed from 1 to 0 for the fields city from and city to. So let's debug this screen. We do the loop. We see the names are changing. We press here a 5. And now we go to the names here. City from is the first. We go down to the active value and now we see the active value changes from uh, 1 to 0. So now this value, this uh, screen element is hidden. And if we go on in the debugger, then we see that the last two input fields are hidden. Okay, and this is a, a nice way to show and hide the input fields by using the radio buttons. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please leave me a like and subscribe to my channel for more content. Write me something in the comments. I'm always happy to read from you. Take care and see you soon.